Question. Dafyomi is starting this coming Tuesday, Mesechtus Kedushim. You know, I don't like to get on the train in the middle. There'll be another time Brachus is going to come. It's going to be a lot of hype. I could start then. And you know, I don't like this stuff, Yomi stuff. Two weeks later, I don't even remember the Gemara I learned. Forget about two months later and two years later. And it's so fast. Who am I kidding? I mean, in yeshiva, I spent three weeks on what they learned in one day. And you know, you know, I see it's very successful, this Kenya Masechta business and this Orisa, and they go slower. And you know, I could really absorb it. I mean, who am I kidding with this stuff, Yomi business? I just want to be a hero. Just want to be able to say I finished the Masechta. I mean, eh. And then, Rabbi Weiss, if I do decide to go to a Daf Yomi, you know, there's a share in my shul, but it's a bunch of four or five people. But you know, there's these big super dafyamis with thousands of people. And, uh, you know, and it's also very convenient. I can listen at home and, you know. And so. These are all good questions. And it's true. Dar dar bedarshav, dar dar manhigav. Every generation has to have its own directors that say, you know, maybe there are a lot of people with ADHD. They can't sit for longer than twenty minutes. Come on, dafyomi, dafyomi, they're climbing the walls and the ceilings and. You're not going to get me to talk bad about Kenyon Masechla. My son, Reb Nechemi Weiss, gives one of the largest Kenyon Masechla shiurim in the world, in Inwood. And, and he's very matzliach. And the people are very happy. A Raisa program. People are coming and enjoying the learning and getting into it and, and remembering it as Azaya Gavald. But I know you're hearing a but. You're hearing a but. Ashrei mi shabolikan v'talmud b'yada. Fortunate is a person who comes to the next world with the Talmud in his hand. A mission of life is to finish us. I wouldn't be able to tell you this. Who am I? <laughs> Pee Wee Weiss. Who am I? But the Chavetz Chaim orchestrated that Ramea Shapiro should come to the Kresia Gedaila late. Here he was, he was introducing his dream. He wanted to make a good impression, and the Godel Ador, the Paisak Ador, the Kayan Ador, it tells him to come late, aye, but he has to listen to Rechav Tzchayim. See, comes in late. He comes in late, and the Chav Tzchayim stands up for him. The Chav Tzchayim stands up for him, Rab Chaim Eisek, the Zinsky stands up for him. Chavetz Chaim and Rab Chaim Oizer stand up for him. The whole place, the entire Knesset Yehuda stood up for him, and that's how the Chavetz Chaim pushed through Daf Yomi. And you know, you see from a success, from the Daf Yomi was born Otzgro. I know because I taught Atsko with I taught I taught Dafyemi with the Sansina. From Dafyemi came Atsko. From Dafyemi came thousands of people who never thought they would finish a Masechta and they finished Shas. And they didn't finish one time; they finished it four times. I 
of Talmidim, who hardly went to yeshiva and finished Shas with Daf Yomi four times. Daf Yomi is the way to finish Shas. You're not learning Arachin. You never even heard of Arachin. <laughs> not learning Arachin. You're not learning Shvuas. You're not learning Bechiris. If not for Daf Yomi. You say, but Rabbi Weiss, I don't remember and I don't cop everything. Rav Palm, Rav Shin Shin Pinkis both said, everything you learn with the Daf Yomi, you're going to be admitted to the Shah of the Hat Mesechta L'Neitzach Nitzachim. You'll learn it then. But you got to attempt it here. Nobody in this room has a malach in their mother's womb who decided to do a raisa. Who said, you know what, for you I'll do Kenyan Masechta. Everybody learned chess. And they learned it because they could recover it. Do Kenyan Masechta too. To a race also when you get a chance. I'm not saying that. I love those programs. But Daf Yaimi is the way to finish Shas. Daf Yaimi is the way to follow the G'dayle Yisrael. Daf Yaimi is the way to tap into a kayak. Daf Yomi is the way to recover what we learned in our mother's womb. All right, I hear. By Brachas. Brachas! I'll time her like a chef, man! Don't say when I get a chance, I'll learn. Shema Leiti Pane and Al Chazu Shalom. It's great to start Daf Yomi at Kedushin. This is, by the way, midway Shas. We're about to start the second half. Mamish, right now. You know, you finish the second half. The first half is easier. It's going to be great. It's going to be great. You start Kedushin, you finish in seven and a half years. It's a great time. Oh, it's great. Then we're coming into Baba Kama, Baba Tzir, Baba Basa, Sanhedrin, Aga, Shmaka, Shmaka, Gemaris, Gishmako. And then Zochim, Menaches, Oh, Gishmak. So much fun. Really so much fun. Uh, all right, maybe you convinced me, but sh- uh, should I listen online to the big Magide Shiurim? Even to Rabbi Moshe Weiss, I could wa- listen to his stuff on Torah anytime.com. He has a bunch of cycles. Uh, there's nothing like going to your shul's chabura. First of all, you got to develop a Rebbe, not an online Rebbe. You have a Rav, you have a local Tamachachim that you could have a relationship with. You have live peers who notice if you don't come and see why you're missing. It's a biggest chayvis. It's a camaraderie of Taira. It's Vahoyuanecha Raya, he says, Mayrecha. You definitely should go to a local Shinao. It's great that we have these online things. Because if you miss and you have to travel, or your wife needs help, or you have a chasana, so you have a backup. It's great, 100%. I have all of Shas on Kalaloshin many times. Go listen to it, 100%. 718-906-6400, Come and chaza with zoomdaf.com tomorrow night at 835. 100%.